Black-footed ferret conservation uh, here in Kansas is really important because they are considered flagship species. Unfortunately, they're critically endangered, so it's really important um, to protect them here uh, and protect our overall ecosystem. Black-footed ferret conservation is important for so many different reasons and on so many different levels. First of all, uh, ferrets and the prairie dogs that they depend on for their food source, uh, they are a part of the ecosystem out here that if we were to lose one or the other of them, it would be very impactful above them and below them on the food chain. I think when people think of endangered species, they think of you know things like tigers and elephants, you know animals that live in like Africa and Asia, places that are really far away. Um, it doesn't always come to mind that there are critically endangered species right here in our backyard that we can do things to positively affect. These species were here before we were. You know the ferrets, the prairie dogs, all of it. They were here long before we were. Um, and they would still be here in good numbers if not for things that we did. So Congress, back in the 70s, passed this law, the Endangered Species Act, and said, you know, we're going to identify these species that are in trouble because of human-caused impacts. We are obligated as an agency to try and recover it. You know, philosophically, where you fall on that spectrum of are they valuable, are they not valuable, you know, to me, a species has value just because it's there in the first place. And, and it, it, it was there for a reason. We need to do the things to try and undo some of the things that we as people have done to them to cause them to be imperiled in the first place. Uh, over the years, this project has taught me that it's not just a few people that are important to the conservation. It's uh, more than just the scientists. It's also the general public, um, zoos. A lot of people can get involved and a lot of people actually are required in order to pull off um, conservation of an endangered species. Saving a species is something that should be important to everyone everywhere. Black-footed ferrets are extremely endangered, um, and that's primarily because of their dependence on prairie dogs. There are five prairie dog species in North America, and the black-footed ferret utilizes all of them as a food and habitat source. And they are probably the only species we know of that is 100% dependent on prairie dogs. And, and that was a poor survival strategy, as it turned out. Um, so we are here in western Kansas and we are doing a survey on the black-footed ferrets and basically we go out in the middle of the night and we survey the land and look for ferrets and once we find them we go out and um, try and capture them in traps. Once we have them in traps we can anesthetize them and assess their health and then we also can give them some vaccines such as uh, plague and distemper and that will ensure that their health and longevity while they're in the wild and yeah overall we can assess how the population is doing and, and finding any uh, wild born kits um, so it's really really important to survey um, the population here in Kansas. Sometimes we play uh, mini roles, but technically uh, I'm just another one of the surveyors. You know, we install all of our equipment on the vehicles and we go out into our assigned pastures and we strategically move throughout the pastures and look for black-footed ferrets. Um, once we've spotted them in a spotlight, um, we'll approach and see if we can get a ring reader on them, which can help us identify um, if it is a, a, a wild-born animal or a uh, released animal. Uh, once a ferret is found and brought to the vet trailer, then uh, we need to anesthetize them so we can handle them safely. So they are anesthetized and we then perform a full physical exam on them, make sure that they look healthy. We can age them, sex them, uh, do a quick once over, make sure we can take any ticks off that need to be taken off. And then we wake them up and release them back to the exact hole that we got them from. We love to do things that are local, and by local, of course, we mean right here in Kansas, where we all live. And this was an extraordinary opportunity uh, to be involved with the Black-Footed Ferret recovery operation in Kansas, because who doesn't love a Black-Footed Ferret? Take one look at their face. Who doesn't want to make sure that we keep those around so that our kids and our grandkids and our great-great-grandkids can see those also? Uh, you can actually help save their species just by spreading the word and talking about them and educating people. Um, the Blackfoot Ferret is my daughter's favorite animal and she has pretty much single-handedly uh, educated her entire school on the Blackfoot Ferret by dressing up for uh, projects, learning uh, about all the different animals. Well, that, that's kind of always the question, isn't it? Why do we do these things? Why do we try to conserve these species? And 
There are probably as many different answers to that as there are people who try to answer it. I think my favorite part of doing this is just feeling like I'm a part of something bigger than myself. So when you get a keystone species like these guys who their health depends on so many other things and other species depend on them. You know, a lot of people don't even know that black-footed ferrets exist. You can talk about just the intrinsic value of a species. It's, it's worth protecting because it's there because it existed and we did something to cause it to be in trouble. What I would say first is people go to a, a website called blackfootedferret.org and that's actually run by the Ferret Recovery Center as part of the Fish and Wildlife Service and there's all kinds of information there, all kinds of tools, things you can do. There are a lot of ways people can contribute to ferret recovery and a lot of it is just being aware of what's going on and when, when, when issues come up, especially if they come up like in a, an election cycle and we, we need to vote for a certain thing or vote for an issue or vote for funding for something, you know, be aware of these things that there, there's, a, there's a, a, a project out there that is dependent on the result of what you do here. One of the things I love most about black-footed ferret conservation, however, is that black-footed ferrets are the proof that we can save a species. At one point, black-footed ferrets were even thought to be extinct. We got down to where there were only 18 individuals of them left alive on Earth before they were brought in for the emergency breeding operation that saved the species. And then we were able to rebound that species from those 18 using a great deal of science to make sure we had healthy genetics all across the board and then start actually putting them back out into the wild in the places where they could survive. So black-footed ferrets are proof that we can save a species if we simply decide to do so, if we know that we need to put the resources into it and are willing to do that. These guys are the proof that we actually can be successful at that. So one more reason that most people might not think of for why are they so important? Why is the conservation of black-footed ferrets so important? Because they are one of the species that taught us that we can save a species.